What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout out to my Transformers clip. It's one twist scale clip or whatever you clip. Shout out to you. And this is a continuation of our Transformers 40 Ever series, where for the 40th anniversary of Transformers, every day for the rest of the year, I'm counting down the 40 best, most iconic Transformer toys I like in my collection. And best may not be the right term, but iconic and influential are the right terms. I think it's interesting that you can create a figure that looks exactly the same as another figure already on the market that's at a cheaper price and do something interesting with it and still make it a little bit better or a lot better in my opinion just by making some minor tweaks and stuff like that and that's what fans toys did at number 31 like if you haven't transformed this figure you're missing one of the greatest pieces of on the low engineering you will see they took everything shifted it to the left to give you that old g1 toy feel and still made it look tuned and gave it all the articulation and everything, you know, MP level articulation. But I think that that's one of the things that goes unnoticed with fans toys. When they do a really good job, it just goes under the radar. They did a great job of that. And and the gimmick was, right, you had the DS one that was already looked good, you know, cheaper, whatever. You know, besides the score paint build materials, the stuff fans toys is known for. They literally gave you that interesting bit of engineering where you could be like, aha, aha. And that's kind of what separates them, right? Like they're gonna always, you can see it with their madness coming up. They're gonna always do something to stamp their, to give it their figures, their flavor. And right now, and to me, their flavor tastes the best. Thanks for watching.